Edward MacDonald Carey was an American actor, best known for his role as the patriarch Dr. Tom Horton on NBC's soap opera Days of Our Lives. For almost three decades, he was the show's central cast member. He first made his career starring in various B-movies of the 1940s, 1950s and 1960s. He was known in many Hollywood circles as «King of the Bees», sharing the throne with his «Queen», Lucille Ball. Biography Early Life Born in Sioux City, Iowa Carey graduated from the University of Iowa in Iowa City with a bachelor's degree in 1935, after attending the University of Wisconsin-Madison for a year where he was a member of Alpha Delta Phi. He became involved with the drama school at the University of Iowa and decided to become an actor. Radio and Broadway Carey toured with the Globe Players. He began to work steadily on radio, including playing Dick Grosvenor on the soap opera Stella Dallas and Ridgeway Torrell in John's Other Wife, both in the early 1940s. He was also in Lights Out. Carey was on Broadway in Lady in the Dark opposite Gertrude Lawrence, Danny Kaye and Victor Mature. His performance led to him receiving a contract offer from Paramount. He later recalled, 1941 was probably the greatest year of my life. I got my first big hit with Lady in the Dark. I got married and I signed with Paramount Pictures. I only wish I could remember it all better. The reason was his alcoholism. Paramount and World War II service Carey made his film debut in Star Spangled Rhythm. Paramount gave him the third lead in Take a Letter, Darling, directed by Mitchell Lyson. He followed it with Dr. Broadway, which was his first starring role. He had a leading part in Wake Island, directed by John Farrow, a big hit. Carey's career received a boost when borrowed by Alfred Hitchcock at Universal to play the romantic lead in Shadow of a Doubt with Joseph Cotton and Teresa Wright. However the momentum was halted when he enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. He had two months before he left, which enabled him to star in a musical for Paramount, Salute for Three. Carey received his commission in early 1944 and attended fighter director school at Camp Murphy in Orlando, Florida. After school he served with Air Warning Squadron 3 with stints on Espiritu Santo, Bougainville and Mindanao. In 1947 Carey returned to Paramount. They put him back into leading roles. Suddenly, It's Spring, directed by Lyson, co-starring Paulette Goddard, Hazard, again with Goddard, and Dreamgirl, supporting Betty Hutton, directed by Lyson. Carey played Cesare Borgia in Bride of Vengeance alongside Goddard, directed by Lyson, but it was a flop. More popular was a western, Streets of Laredo, but William Holden was the hero, Carey was the villain. In 1949 he co-starred as Nick Carraway in Alan Ladd's version of The Great Gatsby. Carey followed this with Song of Surrender, once again directed by Lyson. Universal and Fox Universal borrowed Carey for two films, a western with Maureen O'Hara, Comanche Territory, and South Sea Sinner with Shelley Winters. Back at Paramount he was in a low-budget western, The Lawless directed by Joseph Lossie. Back at Paramount he was a villain to Ray Milland in Copper Canyon, directed by John Farrow. At Paramount he was in Jesse James in The Great Missouri Raid and Mystery Submarine at Universal. Carey supported Red Skelton at MGM in Excuse My Dust. At 20th Century Fox Carey supported Betty Grable in Meet Me After the Show and Claudette Colbert in Let's Make It Legal. He went back to Universal for Cave of Outlaws Carey began appearing on television in episodes of The Christophers, Selenese Theater, Hope Chest, and Lux Video Theater. He continued to appear in films like My Wife's Best Friend, at Fox with Ann Baxter, Count the Hours, with Teresa Wright at RKO, Hannah Lee, a western with John Ireland, It's Everybody's Business, and Malaga with Maureen O'Hara. Carey returned to Broadway in Anniversary Waltz, directed by Moss Hart, which was a big hit and ran for two years. Television Carey's work was increasingly on the small screen. The Quiet Gun, Stage 7, Science Fiction Theater, Hour of Stars, Celebrity Playhouse, and the 20th Century Fox Hour. For the latter he appeared as Fred Gailey in a remake of the 1947 film classic, Miracle on 34th Street, starring Teresa Wright and Thomas Mitchell. He was also in General Electric Theater, Screen Director's Playhouse, The Alcoa Hour, and Climax. Carey managed a single, starring Turn as a young professor traveling cross-country in the fifth season of Alfred Hitchcock Presents as well. He did make some features such as Stranger at My Door, a western for Republic Pictures, and a dongo for Warwick Films. Dr. Christian in 1956 Carey took over the role of the kindly small-town physician Dr. Christian, a character created in the late 1930s by actor Gene Hersholt on radio and in films. Carey portrayed Dr. Christian on syndicated television for one season. Carey guested on the Kaiser Aluminium Hour, The Joseph Cotton Show, Jane Wyman Presents the Fireside Theater, Zane Grey Theater, Wagon Train, Studio One in Hollywood, Playhouse 90, The Frank Sinatra Show, Suspicion, Target, Pursuit, Schlitz Playhouse, The DuPont Show of the Month, and Rawhide. Carey was in the western film Man or Gun, for Republic. And The Redeemer. He played Patriot Patrick Henry and John Paul Jones, directed by John Farrow who had worked with Carey at Paramount. He appeared in Blue Denim. Lockup Carey starred as Crusading Herb Maris in the 1950s syndicated series Lockup. 
A total of 78 episodes were made between 1959 and 1961. Kerry Guest starred on Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Moment of Fear, Thriller, The United States Steel Hour, Insight, Target, Checkmate and The Alfred Hitchcock Hour. Kerry went to England to make the films The Devil's Agent and The Damned, for director Joseph Lossy. He was also in Stranglehold, in the first season of The Outer Limits. Kerry starred in the episode titled, The Special One. He was also in the Dick Powell Theater, Craft Mystery Theater, and Arrest and Trial. Kerry supported Sandra Dee and Tammy and the Doctor. He guest starred in the 1964–1965 sitcom The Bing Crosby Show on ABC. He appeared as Mr. Edwards in the 1963 episode, Pay the Two Dollars, of the NBC education drama series, Mr. Novak, starring James Franciscus. He could also be seen on Burke's Law, Branded, Craft Suspense Theater, Run for Your Life, Ben Casey, Lassie, and Bewitched. Days of Our Lives Carey started playing Tom Horton on Days of Our Lives in 1965. He says he took the show, because I couldn't get a movie at the time. He ended up playing it until his death from lung cancer in Beverly Hills, California, in 1994, six days after his 81st birthday. During this time, Carey suffered from a drinking problem, and eventually joined Alcoholics Anonymous in 1982. A longtime pipe smoker, he was seen in many films and early episodes of Days of Our Lives with it. He was ordered by his doctor to quit in September 1991 after having to take a leave of absence from Days in order to remove a cancerous tumor from one of his lungs. He returned to the show in November of that year. He is most recognized today as the voice who recites the epigraph each day before the program begins. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. From 1966 to 1994 he would also intone, This is MacDonald Carey, and these are the days of our lives. At each intermission, his voice also says, We will return for the second half of days of our lives in just a moment. Since the Horton family is still regarded as the core of days of our lives, his memory has been allowed to remain imprinted on the show by leaving the voiceovers intact. He also served as voiceover for the very first PBS ident, in which he said, This is PBS. The Public Broadcasting Service. Other appearances Carey continued to act in other productions during his run on days. He had roles in Gidget Gets Married, The Magician, Ordeal, Owen Marshall, Counselor at Law, Who is the Black Dahlia? Macmillan and Wife, Police Story, Switch, The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries, Fantasy Island and Buck Rogers in the 25th century. He later appeared in many all-star television miniseries, such as Roots, The Rebels, Top of the Hill and Condominium. He was in the films Foes, End of the World, and Summer of Fear, and had a small part in American Gigolo. Carey was in the TV movie The Girl, The Gold Watch and Everything in the film's access code in It's Alive 3, Island of the Alive. He guest starred on Finder of Lost Loves and Murder, she wrote. His last non-days role was in A Message from Holly. Carey did the on-stage introduction for the Stars of the Days of Our Lives, and musical artist, director Ricky D. at the Greek Theatre Writings Carey wrote several books of poetry, and a 1991 autobiography, The Days of My Life. For his contribution to television, Carey has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, at 6536 Hollywood Boulevard. Personal life Carey was married to Elizabeth Heckscher from 1943 until their divorce in 1969. They had six children, Lynn, Lisa, Stevens, Teresa, Edward McDonald Jr., and Paul. Later, he dated Lois Cranes. The couple remained together from 1973 until Carey's death. His grandchildren include Ellie Diamond and Vitas and Aras Baskowskis. He has a godson, Maurice Heckscher. Carey was a Roman Catholic, and a member of the Good Shepherd Parish and the Catholic Motion Picture Guild in Beverly Hills, California. He is buried at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California, alongside a space already set aside for his daughter Lisa.